Well, here we have made it back to Elite Finish next to San Diego, California. And right in front of me is yeah, the paint protection film studio. And right there actually is uh, Wes running over. How you doing, man? What's up, dude? Good timing. Dude. What are you up to? Busy day? Well, yeah, just, you know, putting a bunch of paint protection film on my mom's horse trailer, actually, <laughs> of all things. That That's awesome, <laughs> actually, dude. Is it over there right now? Yeah, it's out in the back, yeah. Oh, dude, that, that, that's so <laughs> awesome. Is is the tri pack in there right now? Oh, uh, it is. Yeah. Man, do you mind if we uh, check it out? Let's go take a look. Sweet. All right, so you can see right now what's going on is we have David over here. He's applying C-Quartz skin and Zach is leveling the C-Quartz skin. So uh, as we talked about, S-Tech Dino Shield has a ceramic coating like a hydrophobic built into the top coat, which is also where the self-healing properties of the paint protection film. What we have found is that adding C-Quartz skin, it takes that shine, it takes the hydrophobics, um, and just the stain resistance to a whole other level. So David, is that the, the coating right there? Yes, it certainly is. This is C-Quartz skin. This is a semi-permanent barrier uh, that we put on the cars, like if we were putting uh, vinyl or paint protection film. It, it goes right over the, the, the S-Tech? Yes, it certainly does. What this is doing, what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, applying a product which has carrier solvents inside of it. And what those carrier solvents are doing are taking the SiO2 particles and helping it bond to the surface. And what happens is that creates a hydrophobic surface. Okay. This should be uh, very easy to keep clean, right? Yeah, for sure, bro. Actually, here, let me show you. So, look, you can wash this car with water and soap just like you're used to. Normally, pressure washer, foam cannon, whatever. But I worked with a chemist uh, to create this product called Wash Mist. So you just literally spray on and wipe off, and it'll look kind of streaky, and you grab a fresh towel, spray a little more, wipe some more, and it'll be totally fresh and detailed looking. Plus with the film and the coating, it just makes it that much easier. So really when I go to wash this car, I don't have that second thought in my head anymore of am I gonna damage this paint? Also, am I gonna damage these $10,000 straight? <laughs> That's gonna no, be gone, right? We, we've got all that protection on there and yeah, this makes your life way, way easier. And when you come back from the track, I'll show you all those rubber hits that you get on, on the clear bra down the side of the car. I'll show you a little trick for cleaning those when you come back. <laughs> so overall, what sections are, are covered right now? Uh, so we've got actually a really nice track package coverage for you. So the whole front end here is completely covered. Um, with the paint protection film. And then um, we are able to get the entire hood tucked right around here. And then all of this has a really nice uh, piece of coverage. Oh, so, so the vents themselves. Yeah. That's a good idea because I'm thinking, especially right there, because I know my previous GT500, I had um, not the best time looking at all the scratches and rock chips right there being black and all. Well, so it sticks then, up quite a bit. Oh yeah. I was kind of surprised, honestly, looking at, I was like, oh, you know, the, the rocks are definitely gonna hit those. <laughs> so we definitely wanted to cover those for you. The funny thing about it is that this is actually downforce too. On track, if you remove the rain tray underneath, it actually provides front end downforce. That's, That's a cool awesome. thing that not many people actually know about with That's this awesome. car. But anyway, so like you were saying, so hood's done, front end's done, yep. the vents are done. Yeah, the fenders are done. We uh, removed these so we can get a nice clean install underneath. There's just two uh, posts that go okay. right through the fender right there. So it's just a little double-sided tape, some posts, pulled that out, no problem. Put that back on. Uh, we also, for clean installation, did remove these so we could get the that material wrapped around nice and clean there for you. You know what, can I, can I feel it? Is that a thing? Yeah, I can absolutely. Do? It's like, there's no resistance with it, man. Super it's slick, like, right? So, and then the, the mirrors are covered, uh, covered right here. This whole piece, comes around 
and I'll show you right here comes around it's all tucked in and hidden away jeez man and it comes along through here wraps up around tucks inside so you have full coverage the whole rocker so your rocker panel is also covered but now that should have a lot because like over there even with, with your gt350 you have this too yeah this huge opening these provide you know i'm um, sure some really nice uh, stability and driving and stuff but what they do is the rocks hit and bounce off this yeah and they just smack straight in and hit all through there it should be all set i think for uh, willow springs and yeah. everything this, this is going to be so exciting and plus knowing these stripes are protected because if i were to have this car that ppf right now man going on the track i, I don't know i'd be so freaked out especially to be around anybody else and then the other thing that was a really smart idea for you to ask us to do last minute, I knew we didn't have time to do the wing, which we really need to get done before your next track visit, <laughs> but at least you had us do these right here, yeah, just, just which was super smart. And yeah, then, 20 something thousand. If you look online on Ford Parts, it, it's about $26,000 for the rear wing. And yeah, if, they, if this got damaged, yeah, I, know. I don't know what to do. So when you come back, we're gonna get this protected. And then the trip after that, we'll get the trunk, the doors, the rear bumper and everyone's arch nemesis the gloss black piece oh, on the show it always gets scratched so yeah. we'll get all that covered for you next uh, time how's too. your car holding up actually yeah, actually you ppf that right so you're yes. all good yeah but i know yeah. exactly what you're talking yeah. about dude honestly bro i'm so stoked you brought this in it has been such a joy for us to work on this car it's so beautiful you know i'm clearly a shelby enthusiast and uh, all my guys have been just having so much fun being able to oh, work man. on your car. I really do appreciate it, man. This yeah. again, I, I, like I've been saying over and over again, like I was actually sc kind of scared to drive this car. It means a lot. And plus yeah. knowing that you're a Shelby guy <laughs> as well and, and seeing that car, you know what? Could you give us a startup on that? Because we got a Absolutely. few comments in the last video actually talking about, hey, we should see a roll race between these two cars. I know we can't do that right that now, fun. but I'm still breaking this thing in. We'll have to do that maybe a shift sector. Yeah, yeah that's a good <laughs> idea. You know what? I'd love to hear it. That's yeah. possible? Let's do it. Sweet. You ready for it to be your car again? <laughs> yep. We just left to leave finish yesterday and it's my first official drive with the car being PPF'd. We can finally experience what this car is truly like. Right now I'm actually just trying to drive the car as much as I possibly can because to track the new Trackpack GT500 you need at least 1,000 miles. Right now we have 272. So uh, I'm just going on mountain roads, going everywhere in SoCal right now trying to put miles on this car. Shoot, this thing hooks up. Woo! Woo! Yeah! We're, we're gonna have so much fun in this car. Just getting a feel for it. And in track mode with traction control turned off, even when you go foot to the floor, the car is going exactly where you're pointing it to go. That's a good way to put it. The car wasn't kicking out from my side. It was just hooked. Uh, well, not hooked up, but it's so easy to control this car when it kicks out or just goes crazy. I have full control, I have full confidence in it. And I think having the base model for as long as we did, it really um, is helping us because we, we know that car inside and out, don't we? How many track days do we go to? So getting in this, I feel like if this car does kick out, I know exactly how it's going to handle. Tesla right there, give him a pop. Man, this, it feels next level. It feels like a proper race car. Oh yeah. Worth the wait. This on track, we are going to be hanging with all the exotics. This is gonna be insane. All right, this is it. We have made it. Having a track pack GT500, one perk about that is that there aren't that many of them. So when there aren't that many of a car, they got that specialness that just surrounds them.
Okay, so here we are, just pulled off this uh, awesome mountain road with the Trackpack GT500 and in front of me, we actually ran into Shad in his brand new CA Corvette. How do you like it, man? So far, so good. I know the wait was pretty long for you, right? But this, this, I haven't seen many seats in this color before. What color is this? This is ceramic matrix gray and I'm in the process of putting the ground effects kit on right now. This okay. is a carbon fiber. Oh, so it's really, it's, it's, it's actually exposed carbon fiber with it, man. That, that's insane. Yeah, yeah, that, and then the side effects kit will go on, and then the high wing, too. So what's expected to go with? Is this a uh, 2LT? So this is a 3LT with the carbon fiber inserts where you can, uh, the Z51 performance package with the adjustable magnetic ride, and I'm about halfway into the 500 break-in miles. Oh, really? Halfway. So then you're dealing with the, uh, the RPM limiter right now, right? So you can't really go hammer down, but shoot. You almost say this thing, you, you can hop in this car and just drive it 250 miles like nothing. You could probably do it in the next couple hours, man. I, I plan to do it today, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shad, blown away by this spec. This, this color again, ceramic matrix gray. Something about it, it's just so unique and you can tell it, it's the metallic flakes with it. It just pops, you know that? So I went with this color because I like the contrast of the white with the carbon fiber bits that I'm gonna have on the outside and then the red. The red brake calipers, the red on the interior. All of that just sort of connects it together, and I like it against the white backdrop. So what do you think of the GT500, Chad? Are you a Mustang guy? Somebody's always got to be in second place. Oh, gosh, that's so mean. <laughs> Enjoy it. Bye, guys. Thank you. See ya. And what's even better is that a base model handling pack GT500 also just showed up, which is so awesome to see because he's got the same color combo as us for performance with white stripes. See you at the track, Victor. Okay, see you at the track. <laughs> wow. like that car but you know what though we've got the same car so stay tuned for a ton of awesome shelby videos coming your way with the trackback gt500 especially at the racetrack it is it's going down